Iran and the collapse from within, is neither a prophecy nor a fortune telling, but rather data, input, and results of the behavior of the Iranian regime, which has become witness to it from the Iranian interior after the testimony of parliamentarian Faiz Araf Sanjani, daughter of the late former President Hashimi Raf Sanjani, who said, the Iranian regime is involved in the killing of Syrians and the Yemenis, and stresses that the Iranian regime has become exposed even to its former supporters, and the regime can no longer escape its crimes by denying and saying that they are lies of the enemies of the Islamic regime in Iran. In the testimony of Raf Sanjani's daughter, in which she asserted that her country was involved in the killing of half a million Syrians, and in the killing of Yemenis by supporting the Houthi militia. Mrs. Faiz Araf Sanjani, who said about the Iranian regime that it killed more Muslims than Israel did, is a dangerous and courageous declaration in a country that does not recognize liberties or other opinion and is used to assassinating and liquidating its opponents. It is also classified as an internal opposition and is sometimes considered a reformist movement, but it cannot be included in the list of Iran's enemies or on the lists of the Basage, political security and Iranian intelligence, and that it is one of the agents of the great Satan, as the Iranian regime usually describes its opponents. He headed Iran and the parliament, and before his death he was the head of the Expediency Council. No sane person can accept that it is trampled on by the Iranian regime, which, as Mrs. Raf Sanjani described it, is collapsing from within. The testimony of Faiz Araf Sanjani can only be read as a declaration from within the system of the regime whose nakedness was exposed. Mrs. Raf Sanjani, who said, the Iranian regime has done more wrong against the people than Israel, the United States and the Pahlavi regime, and the catastrophes in which our people have been implicated, none of these have taken place. The parties are considered unprecedented courage by one of those affiliated with the regime, especially as they describe the Iranian regime's policies as irrational and talibans. Mrs. Raf Sanjani, who can only be classified as a witness from within, said of the elected Iranian president Ibrahim Raisi, he has nothing in his hand, and he is just a puppet moved by other people behind the scenes. Since the Khomeinist revolution, the Iranian regime has sought to export crises under the guise of the Islamic revolution, as the regime calls it, with a safe favored flavor that collides with the approach of the predecessor to the neighboring Sunni countries and destabilizes societal peace in them, by inciting sectarian strife in them. The Iranian regime has been dragging the region into disputes and causing problems for its neighbors, ranging from obstructing navigation in the Arabian Gulf and threatening to close the Strait of Hormuz, to obstructing commercial navigation through terrorist acts such as damaging four commercial ships in the Persian Gulf by instructing its members in the region to act sabotage, which threatens international navigation. 
Faize Rafsanjani's testimony about the crimes of the Iranian regime reflects a state of anger from within the system itself, and that the Iranian regime has really begun to collapse from within after it began to abandon its supporters and even liquidate some of them, as happened to President Rafsanjani, whose medical examinations showed that his body contained high levels of radiation before his death. The Iranian regime, in crisis both internally and externally, is accustomed to the policy of escalation and confrontation. It is hiding behind a false democracy. The democracy of Wilaya al-Fakya through rigged elections is nothing but a propaganda front for a sectarian repressive regime that does not believe in true democracy and political diversity. The Iranian regime today is not only facing the outside, but also the inside, which was unable to bear the suffering and disaster it has caused to the Iranian people in terms of oppression and muzzling in light of poverty, hunger, and disease, which prompted even its supporters to...